Hey, it's April with Pot of Gold Customs. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. I scoured the internet and couldn't find anywhere that told me how to put weather stripping in a 1951 Mercury deck lid. So, go over a couple things real quick with you. This is a sample piece of the exact seal that we're using. When you lay the seal down, the seal actually is supposed to squeeze together, so that kind of helps you figure out which way it's supposed to lay in your channel. When you start, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in, and I use some red scotch bright, and I'll scotch bright the channel that it, the strip is going to sit in, and then I also scotch bright the back side of the seal itself. Um, as for glue, what I'm using is some contact adhesive. I put it in a little paint cup. That way I don't make a mess. I'm using just a small acid brush so I don't get glue all over the place, especially on painted parts. You don't want to do that. It's a pain to clean up. Um, next thing I do is I lay my strip, my seal in place. And I'll use tape to hold it in place. And then with the mercury deck lids, they have really sharp corners on them. So what I do is I peel up the section that's going to be the corner and I'll cut it right in the corner and I'll do a pie cut. That way the two ends can come together and meet and make a nice clean corner on all four sides. Um, when I go to uh, glue the pieces back together, I just use this Loctite super glue dries super quick so when you stick them together you make sure that that's exactly where you want them stuck. And then I use some adhesive activator just to help the drying process move along a little bit more quickly. Um, when you go to glue in, I've started already and done half of this. So I usually just peel my tape up a good amount, a good distance, I peel it up and then I'll take my glue on my acid brush and when you're using these acid brushes you need to be cautious of your bristles because the glue is so sticky that sometimes the bristles want to pull out of your brush. If that starts to happen you'll want to switch your brushes out. So I hold this up like this and then I'll just lay a nice thin line of glue in the channel itself and then I also lay a line of glue on the back side of the seal. It doesn't need to be a thick line of glue, just a really thin coat usually makes it stick pretty well. And then I just make sure I have it, the placement where I want it to be. And I glue it right in. Just to recap on the supplies that we used today, we got our weather stripping seal from Shoebox Central, and if anybody else is doing a 51 Merc, the part number is 8M7043720. Super helpful. The um, adhesive activator and the super glue, honestly, you could get those online through Amazon or whichever site you feel comfortable using. And the contact adhesive, it does come in smaller containers than this. You can get it from any of your local upholstery shops or um, I think that you can possibly get it from an O'Reilly.